Many people completely overlook tagging their videos on YouTube. Some people don't even know what tags are. Although changing your tags or improving your tags won't have a drastic impact on how well your videos perform, it's one of those little things that could be quite important when you want your videos to get recommended or show up in the search. Basically, what they're designed to do is back up the title and description info. So for example, let's say I have the words Star Wars in my title and Star Wars in my description. YouTube is going to go check the tag section, make sure the tags have Star Wars in it as well before it recommends me to Star Wars fans. If I have Star Wars in my title, Star Wars in my description, but then Star Trek in my tags, it's going to be less likely to recommend me to Star Wars fans. But how should you properly tag your videos? Well, I found there are three different techniques that have worked well for me. In this video, I'm gonna share them so you can tag your next video correctly. G'day, my name is Marcus, I'm a video game and YouTube enthusiast, and this channel is all about helping you grow your gaming channel. And obviously, if you wanna grow our gaming channel, we need to make sure that our metadata is good so that YouTube's gonna recommend us and promote us and more people are going to watch our videos. And part of the metadata is the YouTube tag section. So I've already given you a brief introduction and obviously you've clicked on this video because you wanna learn more about tags. So let's hop onto a video. I'm going to show you how to properly tag your videos. So we're over here on a video and I'm going to go through my tagging process for you. So the first two things you need to do, pretty basic. You want to copy your title and paste it into your tag section. Obviously your tag session section down here is going to be blank, but mine's already been tagged because like I said, this video has gone live. But yeah, copy and paste your title in. So this is just going to reaffirm to YouTube that yes, there are no typos in your title. Your title is correct and that it will hopefully give it a bit more credibility. Second, your channel name. So this is just gonna relate. So when people type up your channel name, if this video was one of your more recent videos, it'll come up. So here I can see that my title has been put down and up here I can see that my channel name has been tagged. So I've done that correctly. The second thing you wanna do is add just general keywords. So these are just short keywords that are related to your video. For example, this video is Star Wars Battlefront 2 Kills of the Month. So my general keywords are, as you can see, Star Wars, Anakin Skywalker, Battlefront 2, and Battlefront. So it's be, it'd be rare that someone just types up Battlefront on YouTube or Star Wars on YouTube. People are generally typing for more specific things. However, I've found that including general keywords does improve your videos. The next thing we wanna do is add what we call branding tags. So these are basically tags that are related to brands or channels. I'd recommend that you go and ask people before you use their channel name in your tags because people can actually view what tags you use on your videos if they have the right programs and you don't want to offend anyone. However, once you've checked with those creators in your niche and try and add their channel names into your tags, this is hopefully, in my experience, this can make it more likely for your videos to be recommended after someone watches one of their videos. For example, here Kills of the Week, I've got a tag a branding tag for Tommy T999. For those of you who don't know, Tommy T999 is a big name in the kills of the week or kills of the month genre of videos. So I decided to tag his channel name here. So hopefully maybe some of his viewers might be recommended my videos. We're trying to help YouTube connect the dots. The final tags we wanna use are keyword phrases. And these are the most important, especially for smaller channels. You can see these are the longer keywords or phrases. So Star Wars Battlefront 2 epic gameplay. Star Wars Battlefront 2 epic moments, Star Wars Battlefront 2 best kills, etc, etc. These are phrases that people will probably type in when they're looking for a specific video. The great thing about phrases, the great thing about phrases is they're way more targeted. For example, if someone types up Star Wars on YouTube, there are going to be thousands upon thousands, probably millions of videos on Star Wars. I'm gonna have a lot of competition for this tag. However, if someone types up Star Wars Battlefront 2 best kills, that kind of cuts down the competition a little bit more. Try and add keyword phrases that you think your potential viewers would type in. As you can see, this is the top kills of the month video. Who would be interested in watching a video that is about the best kills of the month? Well, people who type in Star Wars Battlefront 2 epic gameplay might be interested in seeing some epic kills. People who type in Star Wars Battlefront 2 epic moments might be interested in the top 10 most epic kills of the month. People who type in Star Wars Battlefront 2 best moments might be interested in the kills of the month. So I've included all of these key phrases. Don't limit yourself just to the title of the video. So that's how you properly tag videos. You add your standard default tags, which should always be your video title and your channel name. You add your general tags, just short one to two words that are relating to the style or content of the video. You add your branding tags. So names of creators or brands who produce similar content to you. And if their viewers were to watch one of your videos, they would probably enjoy it because it's similar. And finally, you wanna add your keyword 
keyword phrases. So these are the longer, more targeted phrases that people will actually search in when they're looking for a specific video. Before I leave you, I wanna give you one quick tip which is relating to your keyword phrases because these are really important. Try not to be too general. So the idea is we have these general keywords, these one to two word things that are covering the generalities. So the more targeted or niche down your specific key phrases can be, the better. Obviously there's a balance. If you put in a really specific keyword phrase that no one's ever gonna type, then it's not gonna help you at all. But try not to put just super generic stuff. But try to include some more original stuff as well that less people might be typing, but there'll be less competition for. For example, one of the keyword phrases I have is Star Wars Battlefront 2 Epic Moments. That's gonna be a pretty popular phrase. And that's probably gonna have the most competition. However, Star Wars Battlefront 2 Top Kills, or Star Wars Battlefront 2 Top Moments, or best moments is not going to have as much competition. You can figure out which phrases are the most competitive by typing them up on YouTube and seeing how many recent results come up. So I hope this video helped you out. I had no idea about tags when I first started. I didn't even know what they were and I didn't add any tags to my videos. But although some people don't believe they make a difference, in my experience, tags do make a difference. Not a massive difference, but I've uploaded videos with zero tags and then uploaded videos with tags and the videos with tags do rank a little bit higher. Of course, every little bit helps when you're first starting out. If you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe because I upload new videos every week relating to growing your gaming channel. And feel free to share this video with anyone you know who seems to be struggling with tags as well. I'm sure they'd appreciate you thinking of them. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.